In a viral video that's circulating across social media, a Canadian mother has announced she's selling three Taylor Swift concert tickets for the Toronto show on November 15th. These tickets were originally meant to be a gift for her daughter's 13th birthday, but everything changed after Taylor took to Instagram to publicly endorse Kamala Harris following a fiery presidential debate. The mother, who remains unnamed, posted a three-minute rant expressing her outrage over Taylor's political stance, calling the singer out for supporting someone with non-Christian beliefs and for being too focused on wealth and private planes to care about the average person's struggles. The video, which has attracted widespread attention, begins with the mom addressing Taylor directly. She accuses the singer of having planned her endorsement in advance, questioning how Taylor could release a lengthy statement so quickly after the debate. According to the mom, this indicates that Taylor wasn't open-minded about the candidates and had already made up her mind before watching the debate. The mother's anger escalates as she goes on to criticize Taylor for being a billionaire who is out of touch with the economic struggles faced by everyday families. She argues that if Kamala Harris were elected, the economy would suffer, but Taylor wouldn't care because of her wealth and lavish lifestyle. But the mother's outrage doesn't stop at economic concerns. She delves into her religious beliefs, condemning Taylor for her pro-choice stance on abortion. As a Christian, the mom says she cannot support someone who advocates for killing babies, a reference to Taylor's support for abortion rights. She claims that her faith permits her to judge other believers and feels that Taylor has strayed from Christian values. As a result, she refuses to let her daughter continue idolizing someone who promotes values she doesn't agree with. What makes this situation even more emotional is the significance of the tickets themselves. The mom had planned to take her daughter, a longtime Taylor Swift fan, to the concert as a special birthday gift. November 15th marks her daughter's 13th birthday, making this event even more meaningful. Despite her daughter's love for Taylor, the mother has decided to sell the tickets, unwilling to spend any more money on someone she feels is promoting values that contradict their beliefs. She claims she's done with the pop star, and her tickets are now up for grabs. Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris is nothing new for those who follow her closely. She has a long history of political involvement, publicly supporting Joe Biden in 2020 and Hillary Clinton in 2016. Taylor has been vocal about her progressive views, especially on LGBTQ plus rights, women's rights, and reproductive health. In her Instagram post endorsing Kamala Harris, Taylor urged her fans to do their research and make their own informed choices, but it's clear that her stance has caused some friction among her more conservative fans. For this mom, Taylor's political views were a deal-breaker, and she felt compelled to make a public statement about it. This situation raises questions about the intersection of celebrity, politics, and fandom. Can a person separate the art from the artist, especially when the artist is so outspoken about their beliefs? For this mother, the answer is no. Her decision to boycott Taylor Swift is a powerful reminder of how deeply personal values can influence our relationship with public figures. Whether or not this will affect Taylor's broader fan base remains to be seen, but it's clear that for some fans, her political stance is having a major impact. What do you think of this mom's decision? Should fans let political views influence their support for their favorite celebrities, or should they be able to enjoy the music without worrying about the politics behind it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this story interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on how celebrities are influencing not just culture, but also politics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.